Hi, this is the FC Cheat Code. You give me a few minutes and I give you the lowdown on a key name from Hindi cinema. All the information you need to sound like an expert. We're kicking off with filmmaker Manmohan Desai. The average age on YouTube is 18 to 34 years, which means that many of you were born after Manmohan Desai's death on March 1st, 1994. So why do you need to know who he was? Because from the mid-1970s to the mid-1980s, Manmohan Desai was the king of Bollywood. It seems unimaginable now, but in 1977, he had four films running in the theatre simultaneously. Dharamdeer, Chacha Bhatija, Parvarish and Amar Akbar Anthony. And all four were hits. I don't think any other director in Hindi cinema has matched that feat. Manji, as he was popularly known, was the architect of a uniquely fantastical cinema. His movies were cheerfully bonkers. Manji was not a fan of logic. The plot of a Manmohan Desai film had the depth of a cartoon. Manji was the master of inspired lunacy, a sort of cinematic madness that is so entertaining that you never stop to ask, how is this possible? Directors like David Dhawan, Rohit Shetty and the siblings Farah and Sajid Khan are all Manji fans and emulators, but no one I think has yet matched his madcap genius. In a tribute after Manmohan Desai's death, Amitabh Bachchan wrote, it was the strength of his conviction that prevented you from arguing out an illogical situation with him. <laughs> Apparently, if an actor asked Manji a question, Manji's stock reply was, this is not a Satyajit Ray film. So what is a Manmohan Desai film? Here's what you can expect to find. Religious unity. Manji was a big believer in religious unity and universal brotherhood. His best film, Amar Akbar Anthony, was a pain to this long cherished theme. Of course, he promoted secularism in his own inimitable way. Here's my favourite scene in which three brothers who don't know their brothers donate blood simultaneously to their mother who they don't know is their mother. And the mother is equally clueless. <laughs> lost and found children. Children were lost at an alarming rate in Manmohan Desai movies. In fact, the first few reels were almost always devoted to kids being separated from their parents by natural calamities and villains. In Dharamvir, one child was exchanged and then re-exchanged so that the villain and evil minister thought that he was raising the king's son, but actually he was raising his own because his wife had re-exchanged the babies in the middle of the night. <laughs> Are you following? Me neither. Animals and birds. Manji was a big believer in the animal or bird sidekick. There was Moti the dog and Badal the horse and Marth, Allah Rakha and Kuli and the Wonderbird Sheru and Dharamveer. That descriptor comes from the titles. These non-human friends played a pivotal role in the plot. Basically, when all else failed, they saved the day. The suffering mother figure. Nirupa Roy suffered big time in Manji's films. She lost her voice, went blind, was whipped and nearly crushed under the wheels of a chariot. And of course, she kept losing her kids. But in the end, a timely beam of light from a religious statue would fix her ailments and the sun would invariably come back. Lack of logic. There is only one way to enjoy a Manmohan Desai film. You can never ask, how can this happen? It can happen because Manji said it could. In Marth, a father inscribes Marth on his infant son's chest while the son bleeds and smiles. Then, decades later, they're reunited because in the middle of this gladiator-style fight, the father sees his inscription. In the same film, the father, played by Dara Singh, also stops a plane with a lasso. And what you might ask is the exact time period in Dharamveer. Dharmendra is wearing odd leather skirts. Jitendra is in shiny fashions and my favourite Jeevan is killing it in velvet suits. Does it matter? Of course not. Amitabh Bachchan. Mr. B was Manji's muse. Manji tapped into Amitabh Bachchan's incredible comic skills, but he also constructed a Superman persona for the angry young man. Check out this superstar entry in Cooley, easily one of the best ever.
ऐसा क्या चलो देखते हैं Now that's what you call entertainment. Check out a Manmohan Desai film today and keep watching Film Companion. Film Companion is my attempt to be your film buddy. Let me know what you like and what you don't like and keep subscribing for your film fix.